really doing this now. Let's go. Hi everyone, welcome back. I should actually say welcome back to myself. Um, you may or may not know that I actually have not uploaded a video on YouTube in I think around like two months. I think somewhere in October I stopped. Anyway, I don't even know. But I thought today um, we can do something that I always like to do. And if you have watched any of my previous videos, you know I like to do grocery hauls. I love to show you what I what we got and what we like to eat and all those kind of things. So I thought we can chat about why I have not been uploading videos um, while I'm showing you what we got um, from the shops. So it's going to be a video that's going to be quite like all over the show and whatever because I'm going to speak about one thing and then show you kind of like, oh, mangoes. So just um, bear with me. I was not planning on stopping uploading on YouTube. That just happened and I also didn't plan on really doing this video now either. It just kind of happened. So anyway, I don't um, know exactly what I'm going to say, but whatever. Let's just, let's just get into it. Anyway, so um, let's just go back to the beginning. Um, around, yeah, like around July this year, I just feel like everything started really not being nice. And it wasn't just some one specific thing, but it was, you know, loved ones getting sick and that which was obviously terrible. And then also work related stuff that came like late September, October, which was really hectic and really took a toll and I kind of had to like you know think a lot about my future and I had to make very very important decisions and it was like a whole thing that consumed me and I really couldn't do anything really I just like that was the only thing that was on my mind I was stressing a lot I just like you know like had to really evaluate a lot of things so I was planning on uploading my next video and then just like that Sunday, I was like, I actually can't because I actually cannot get myself to like film um, because everything was consuming me and I just didn't have the uh, mental capacity to like film and pretend that I'm fine when I'm not. Anyway, so that happened, which like took up majority of my like October. And then things kind of got more hectic, like work-wise, just like hectic projects, you know, things I really had to focus on. But coming from that bad space and going into that, like there was no time for like recovery or feeling better. And I didn't exercise through this whole period. I didn't eat right. There was weeks where I didn't like I couldn't eat, I was too stressed and other weeks where I ate, you know, way too many like not healthy things. So I mentally was gone and physically didn't feel great. Um, and emotionally, it was also like a very intense roller coaster ride. So with all of that, there was just no way I could have uploaded a video. And I didn't plan on stopping, this all just kind of like happened and then I thought I was just going to take like a week break and then obviously these things continued so like the next week I was like I can't upload, next week I can't upload and whatever and it's kind of how it ended up like where we are now where I haven't uploaded in two months because it's been two like ridiculous months but it all came from like middle of the year already like I feel like from there on it just all went like downhill. So that was that for like October, November in terms of like work stuff and so on. And we got it, 
like a small glimmer of hope. I think it was like around September where they announced that we can go on our trip finally. Um, they were going to open the borders, we're going to be able to go on our trip. Um, so we were able to, you know, st at least cautiously get excited. I'm always like very, like, you know, like don't get overly excited. I'm very skeptical and realistic and stuff. So, you know, I knew something can happen, but we could at least get like, you know, a little bit excited. So um, in this period, I started planning all my outfits for the trip, like took photographs so that I don't overpack, so I know exactly what I'm going to wear. And, you know, like all the logistics got um, my international driver's license and um, our bags are here, so like we're ready to pack. And, you know, my parents are going to look after Bunny and, you know, like everything was like planned out. And then on my birthday in November, we got the lovely news that we can't travel anymore because they shut the borders for some African countries and that was obviously like the final blow for the year I was like what the actual like really like it's been such an intense year with so many intense things and this was like the okay cool we can you know at least end the year off on a high note you know like been looking forward to this trip for so long all those kind of things and then this happened so it was like a very low blow very very low blow um and i was just like cool i'm like i'm assuming this year is just gonna end really badly um there's no turning back this is it and yeah now we're here and we're currently still in this very not great situation and on the one hand I feel very sad very sad and I don't like to keep on thinking about it um, but it's everywhere in the news you keep being reminded that you can't travel and it's Christmas time um, which you know this was our Christmas trip you know we don't have other Christmas plans so like I don't even know if like we're going to just be alone on Christmas now. We bought no gifts, no nothing, because we were not supposed to be here. So, you know, I don't really know if we're doing anything for Christmas at this point. Yeah, so like, it's just all such a mess, and I don't really know where to go from here. Um, it's just a constant reminder, and on the other hand, you know, like, I feel so guilty for complaining about it, because I know I'm obviously not the only one and there's millions and millions of people that's being affected by this so like my situation is not isolated or special or anything like that it's just it's very hard to not be sad and to not be disappointed because we've been looking for it for so long and it's been you know in the works for so long and and all those kind of things so at this point I'm just sad um trying to find happiness in like the small things and the fact that Eventually, one day we'll be able to go, but for now, I'm just my heart's very sore. So, anyway, that's the story. Um, I have not shown you any of my groceries, but maybe I'll just finish this kind of situation and then we'll get into the groceries. But, um, yeah, so that's where we currently are at. We don't know when we will be able to go, so everything is hanging back in the air kind of just going with flow because you know and we are trying to be as ready as we can be to go whenever that might be in the future you know like I don't know how long that might still be so yeah that's why that's why I have not been feeling like doing any videos and to be honest with you I'm currently still in that like bad state but it is Christmas time and I am trying to do things that I know used to make me happy and stuff so I was like well let me pick up the camera do a little grocery haul like I always like to do and maybe it feel will feel like a little bit normal and it will maybe take away you know just take my brain like off 
you know, like thinking of like this situation right now. So anyway, that is my sad little story. And yeah, I, yeah, it's not great, but again, there's a lot of people that's going through the same stuff. I just, I'm hoping that the next year, 2022, will be, you know, like better. It doesn't have to be great. It just needs to be better um, because I just, you know, like, I can't pinpoint that there was any year that was particularly bad. Like even 2020, even though, you know, there was very sad things happening, I wouldn't say that it was necessarily a bad year for me necessarily but um but this year had a lot of things that really affected me specifically that made it such a bad bad year so i'm just hoping that you know 2022 just brings a little bit of joy um that's all it doesn't have to be magical and fantastic it just needs to bring like a, like a little bit of joy so anyway that is that um i'm thinking we need to go on to the groceries because i actually have frozen stuff here and i don't want it to defrost anyway okay so let's just get into it so we got some stuff from checkers and we got some stuff from woolies it's quite random it's a lot of treats and stuff and um, we still have some stuff in the freezer some mints and some steak, those kind of things, which we'll be able to eat during the week and then we'll just add some of the stuff on to that. Um, but first up, um, it's mango season. I'm so excited, it's mango season. Um, and obviously I got a packet of four mangoes from Willy's. I have some coconut yogurt in the fridge, so I'm excited to have some mango um, and cut that in with my yogurt so so happy about that then next up canned stuff so i think i've spoken about this before but these canned soups from willie's so tasty and we always make sure that we have these because they are it's it's so easy to like just grab it out of the cupboard um, and they are super tasty and the super filling as well so we just got two more we have some more in the cupboard but i got the chicken one and then the beef and lentil one these are fantastic in my opinion so you can put like croutons in it or whatever but super tasty then i just got my standard um pineapple pieces i always get these um as you can see always get these canned pineapples i like to like put it in my wrap or my salad sometimes I eat it out of the can as well so got some of that and then what else here we go this is my favorite kind of cheese and this is the baby bell cheese and as you can see it comes with a little thing like this it's around with little mozzarella cheeses it's very nice it's very expensive so I don't always buy this but I'm now emotional and I'm sad, so I feel like I deserve a treat. And as you, you'll see now, there's a lot of I feel emotional, I'm sad treats in this haul. It's not a very healthy one. Um, next up, we just got some hot chocolate. I don't really drink hot chocolate, but Jason loves hot chocolate, so we always buy the importers hot chocolate from Checkers, so we just got a big bag of this. He loves this, um, he enjoys that a lot. Mm. And then, also from Checkers, they have this Forage and Feast brand, and you can see that. And I got the white hot chocolate, this is like a Belgian hot chocolate, so I thought we can mix it up with the importer's normal hot chocolate and sometimes make some of the white hot chocolate as well. That should be very tasty. And then with that, I just bought a packet of pink marshmallows from Woolies um, to put on top of the hot, ch hot chocolate. So, you know, it's a whole cozy drink, even though it's not cold here. It's actually quite hot. Um, so anyway, but that's something that I will make for Jason. Then I got some sweet treats from Woolies. These are no sugar added. I think it's made with some 
um, like you know, like a xylitol situation or something. So these are like um, these fruit um, chews, and it's very very tasty actually. Um, it is very sweet, so I'm assuming there's a lot of sugar substitute in here. But yeah, really like these for a better alternative to normal sweets. But I think it's still bad for you. But anyway. Then, this is something that I don't eat at all, but this is one of Jason's favorite. He gets it every year. It's like his treat for Christmas, and it's the fruit mince pies. Um, so he loves these from Woolies, um, and you can buy them in bulk, and then you save. Um, but we got these. This is not his first pack for, for the fourth season, but he really likes these. I don't eat um, these um, fruit mince pies at all. We have a lot of cookie stuff. Um, then checkers, it's actually really cute. They sell like biscuits, you know, cookies, um, like individually. Um, and they have some, and I have a little packet of Christmas cookies, and I just wanted to show you. It's actually really cute, but it's like these like candy canes as you can see that and then I think we have a Christmas tree yeah so we have a Christmas tree and then there's two stars so anyway we just thought that's cute and we'll get some of that but this was 14 Rand for for big cookies so it's not that bad and then we also got shortbread biscuits from Willie's. Um, I actually was after the tin and then Jason really does like he like really loves shortbread cookies so um, I was like okay that's fine so got the shortbread cookies and I get to have the tin so more cookies and then I'm not done with the cookies yet more Christmas cookies so this is a Christmas um, gingerbread tree DIY kit which I got at Checkers and I'm gonna make this. I'm thinking in the week of Christmas I will make this. That's what this looks like, which I think is quite fun for Christmas to do. Um, so the cookies, they're done, like they are packed like that, the stars and stuff. And I think you just get like the icing and stuff, and you know, I don't know, all the decoration and stuff. Um, but yes, very excited to do that over the Christmas time seeing as we don't have anything else really to do. I think that's it for cookies. Um, anyway, then next up we just got some coffee again. We always buy these beans from Checkers and um, just this big bag of beans. They usually have a like a good deal on these bags. So we just got, because we ran out of coffee beans. And then, oh, uh, this is not even food. I got this packet of scrunchies, actually really cute. Um, with all like these neutral colors I think this was like a hundred round and then you have like quite a few how many is in here it doesn't say anyway there's a lot of them in here so I just thought that they're cute so um, I got a packet of scrunchies because I, I only have like big scrunchies but sometimes I just want to wear some smaller ones so and I usually wear only like neutral colors so I thought this would be perfect for that. So I got that. Checkers had a deal on muesli. I don't eat muesli, but Jason loves muesli with yogurt, so he got these jungle muesli. It's cinnamon flavor, which he previously said was very, very, very tasty. So I think, I can't remember, but it's like buy two and then for a uh, price. So mm -hmm. cinnamon flavored muesli for him. And then boring, just got some mouthwash, some Listerine mouthwash. And then also just a little Christmas treat. We got the Toffee Nut Latte sachets from Starbucks, these ones. Um, I tasted the Toffee Nut Latte the other day, like at Starbucks, they made it and whatever, and it was so, so, so good. So I thought this was a nice treat for Christmas as well. We're almost done. I'm just now in the frozen section here. Um, we got these um, Moroccan pork ribeye steaks 
from Willy's and we've had this before and it's, it's like the sauce is so so good so it's the one with the purple sticker um, but these like they're not very big but they are like it's so so good highly recommend that then I got a lot of frozen fruit because they also had buy two bags for a price so I got some pineapple I got some strawberry ones and then I got two packets of the blueberry ones so very happy about that and then ooh, this might be my favorite this is maybe the fav my favorite of all of the stuff we bought I don't know if this is new it might not be but this is um, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it says mini croissants with the chocolate in it. You can see the name on the screen. It's just that, but um, you just put this in the oven and you cook for frozen and it's going to be delicious. So I'm going to make this for breakfast one morning, maybe like Christmas morning, whatever. So yep. I will let you know how it is, but I'm very excited about this. And then we're coming to an end here. This is the last thing, and I oh know this is not the last thing. This and this. Um, I got some spinach and ricotta ravioli. I think I've showed this a million times on here, but this is my favorite pasta. And then what we got from Checkers is this container of Parmesan cheese. And I find this is so nice to sprinkle over this um, ravioli and I do like the container and then you can buy like the refill bags of this so very nice for this for this I think this might be like lunch or dinner too so anyway that was a little grocery haul for the week a lot of treats a lot of like feel-good food like feel good emotionally not feel good physically you know like I haven't eaten really like great I, you know I've mentioned that I actually haven't exercised since I can't even remember when and I just hold myself until I feel mentally okay I'm not going to force myself to do, to do um, exercise and I know the exercise will help me to feel mentally fine so it's kind of like a balance but I do think I'm just taking a chill and taking a rest and seeing how things go for the next month or so and then I'm definitely going to get back into my exercising and all those kind of things but for now I'm like maybe not right now I don't know I don't know um, anyway so I will most probably upload every Sunday going forward from now I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen I feel like it's all over the show and I can't really predict what's happening but you know in my head I'm thinking I will upload now going forward every Sunday again like I used to do unless something happens and I'm not able to um, but yeah it feels good to film again and I hope you have a very festive um, Christmas period and that you are healthy and happy and getting some rest in um, I know that literally everyone needs it like everyone so um, that's my wish for everyone um, is to just feel good feel rested and let's see what what 2022 brings because who knows I feel like everything is such a surprise at this point anyway thank you so much for watching um, it's very nice to chat to you again and I will hopefully be discussing you next week's time.